Hey, all of you. I just wanted to share a quick word of chizik. You know, we all were raised in a system where if you get less than a 60 on a test, it's called a, fa a fail. You get an F. So we're kind of conditioned to feeling that if we get less than a 60, we're a failure. And if we get a 70, it's like, all right, Beseder, you passed. And an 80 is, hey, that's already doing pretty okay. A 90 is, wow, you're really doing good. And if you're 100, oh, that's the best. But I want to ask a question. Let's think about this for a moment. If you get a 20 on a Dafyomi test, what does that mean? It means that you retained 20% of the Daf. The Daf quizzes that I write include basically everything on the Daf. So if you got a 20, that means that you retained 20% of a Daf Gemara. Now let me ask you this. If you would speak to a friend of yours who does Dafyomi, and you would discover that he's retaining 20% of the Daf Gemara that he learned, wouldn't you be impressed? Wouldn't you be like, wow, that's amazing. You retain 20% of a Daf Gemara. Wow. And if you get a 30, you retain 30% of a Daf Gemara. That's incredible. A 40? You, you, you retained 40% of a Daf Gemara. Guys, let's not shortchange ourselves. The system that we were brought up in, okay, it's a system that exists because it needs to exist that way. But when we're learning Tyra, it doesn't work like that. Akkadosh Baruch Hu doesn't say, if you got less than a 60, oh, that's a fail. Are you kidding me? If you're retaining 20, 30, 40% of a daf, that's incredible. So guys, don't get discouraged. If you're getting a 30 or 40, you should feel like, wow, this is incredible. I retained 30% of a daf gemara. Keep taking the DAF quiz. If you don't like my quiz, take someone else's quiz. But keep it up. It's a great way of showing yourself, wow, I actually retained a part of the DAF. And of course, you get the Chazara, which is incredible. Have a great Shabbos.